Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, what you're about to watch is my reaction to Bridgerton season three, part two. Now, obviously this isn't going to be my full reaction. This is going to be an edited down version of my reactions for YouTube. However, if you're interested in watching my full unedited reactions, seeing me fully react to everything in part two, make sure you check out my Patreon where you can watch my full reactions to part one and part two of Bridgerton season three. Also over on my Patreon, you can watch commentary tracks with me where I watch Bridgerton season one and season two. Commentary tracks are basically just like reaction videos, except it's me watching something I've already seen before. So make sure you go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. But without further ado, please enjoy my reaction to Bridgerton season three, part two. Last night, an announcement came. Thank God Eloise is not there. We are engaged. Well, did she ever say yes? Oh. <laughs> Aww. Wait, what a sweet reaction. <gasps> Eloise is there. <gasps> oh my God, Eloise is there. Eloise has to say something. <gasps> oh my God, this is so awkward. Everyone, they need to talk. For how long has this been going on? It's very new. I'm just as surprised as you are. For how long have you had feelings for him? Oh, well, Eloise, you should have put that together. That's on you. <laughs> Eloise. Does he know? But you are whistled out. No, just not know, please. No, I mean, Eloise is right. She should tell him first. And until he knows the real you. Tell him. He cannot possibly love you. She, uh, she's right. Uh, unfortunately. I can't wait for Colin to find out. I forgot that he doesn't know yet. <gasps> They're back. I'm simply enjoying the view of my ravishing wife. He's got to keep it in his pants. He's crazy. Mm. <gasps> is she pregnant? <gasps> I'm eager to tell the family. She's pregnant. So much so that I can shout for all of Mayfair to hear! <gasps> <gasps> She's pregnant! And they're pregnant! <gasps> A little baby Edmund! To your wives. All right, Benedict, and your next question mark? Congratulations. Thank you. And your next Benedict? Oh my God. Perfect opportunity to set up Benedict to be next in that scene. I am so mad. With news of an engagement to the very same Bridgerton boy using Lord knows what wiles to entrap him. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bridgerton. <gasps> but since we are all speaking so freely. That was not meant for your ears. I am still speaking. <gasps> Colin. I proposed to her out of love, nothing less. In the future, I advise you not to sully our Bridgerton name by suggesting <gasps> otherwise. Our Bridgerton name. Wow. Okay, Colin, eat. Colin nibbled that one little thing. What is this? I wanted to show you this before our wedding. <gasps> There's a mirror in the room. Nobody look. <laughs> Nobody look at the mirror. She has to tell him. Is she going to tell him now? Well, since we are to be married. No. Colin, I have something to tell you. You do not realize how much that meant to me. Oh, okay. Well, we can talk about that too. <gasps> the mirror. Nobody move! All the parts I've been... I've been dreaming about. Ah! She is on her tippy toes because <laughs> she is so short. I do not want you to stop. <sighs> no, you can't have sex with him before telling him that you're whistle down. That's gonna make it worse. Oh my god, he turned her back around. This is nuts. This is the longest sex scene they've given anybody ever. <laughs> you guys. Wait, I know the song playing. And all of my uglies too. Uh, love to see me from your point of view. You're so beautiful. Sorry, I got any question mark. What is it? And all of my love to see me from your point of view. This is so long, and like very a detailed compared to other stuff Bridgerton's done. Just so long. <laughs> like what? What am I supposed to talk to you guys about right now? <laughs> um, I feel like that angle would not work. It does not look like a practical angle personally. And here's the thing. Sweet, happy for them, right? It's more, I'm more like, oh my God, what is he going to do when she tells him that she is Lady Whistledown? Because, okay, it's one thing like when you're engaged, but now you were engaged, you're engaged and you've had sex. So like, I don't know. He's going to feel betrayed, I think. Oh my God. What's the... You betrayed me. Traitor. They should play Traitor by Olivia Rodrigo in the background when she reveals to him that she is Lady Whistledown. 
That was about two <laughs> seconds. Good job, Colin. This is why you need to cut these scenes because then you don't know how long they actually last for. For a whole week, so I would not wake him so early. <laughs> I believe it was the reason. Why does the mom not look happy with this match? Like, it's weird. It's a weird vibe from Violet. I can't tell. I would not dream of it. Like, they're cute. I don't... I, like, I'm getting weird vibes from Violet, though. Tell him. Oh, there is something I must tell you. Oh, my God. Don't tell him while you're naked. Oh, that sounded like it was in my house. The woman will get the consequences she deserves. Oh. Imagine. Unmasking Whistledown. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so... Oh, what did you wish to tell me? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. I can't really remember Colin, actually. If Eloise tells Wait. Colin before Penelope can, be. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Because I do think that Penelope needs to tell him. <gasps> she looks so pretty. Oh. The decorations are somewhat more grab than I remember, is they not? And here is my son to be. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> oh, I must tell your mother how much I love what she has done with the decoration. <laughs> Oh, Lady Featherington, you are a hoot and a half, huh? Either my brother is the most understanding person ever born, or you have not yet told him. Oh my god, if they're not careful, Cressida will overhear them. If it proves too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will be merciful and reveal it to him myself. That is true. She does make a good point. Because if Penelope doesn't tell him, and he finds out somehow, some other way, like, he will somehow be mad at Eloise for that too. Because a man couldn't comprehend keeping a secret for a girl even if you are no longer friends with that girl like a man could never comprehend girl code like that and i'm so grateful to be here with her tonight this is so sweet this is gonna end badly i think though tonight, <laughs> eloise tell, relax eloise congratulations <laughs> <laughs> hey hey cheers 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 love cheers all that to say sometimes i miss what is right in front of me Miss Francesca. Wait, I love them. I know John dies <laughs> in in Francesca's book, so this is sad actually, and I'm I'm upset. Oh my god, she has to tell him. This has to be when she tells him. She's panicking. Oh, she's in a moonlit room. This has to be it. This has to be it. Like it's almost midnight. So what is she gonna do? Is she, are they gonna reveal to everybody here? Guys, I don't know what's going on. We have some news. We're pregnant. Cressa's gonna be like, I'm Lady Whistledown. Everyone. Oh, I have an announcement. Oh my God, so much is happening. Cressida, please. You would like to know who Lady Whistledown is? I am she. Oh my God. <laughs> she's having a pain. Oh, she's out. She's down. She passed out. Oh my God, she swooned. That blonde backbiter. Oh, are they all gonna find out? I really believe it is her. It makes perfect sense. Are they gonna have to reveal that Penelope's Lady Whistled onto the entire town? Ton. I have something for you. What is it? <gasps> a ring. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> the engagement boxes back then are so little. Was all this ink? Have you been writing? Oh, yes, um, letters. Oh my God. Penelope, you're digging such a deep grave. Like it's crazy. But if you want to win the game, you must lead it. Otherwise, you will always be on the defensive. Throw a masquerade. We do have a way with entertaining. Ha! Throw a masquerade ball. Suppose I could have sent a footman to fetch this, could I not? <laughs> but then I would not have been able to see you Oh again. my god, Violet. Get with it, girl. We are to marry. Oh, that's my room for you. Oh, the last Mac room for you, Benedict. You are so precious and I love you. Thank you, Mama. Oh, I love them. I cannot believe they're going to kill him. <laughs> you will speak with Miss Carper. With the scribe herself. Oh my God. What is... What is... I'm... Y'all, I'm lost. I'm confused because this is so different from the book. And it's just like taking a while. You know what I mean? Like, how long are we going to drag out Colin not knowing who... Whistledown is, and how long are we gonna drag out Cressida going to the Queen? And if he knew it was you all along writing about me, our family, Marina, if he knew how long I too have kept this secret from him. Are they just not gonna tell him? There's no way. Colin has to know. Your name is about to be Bridgerton. Mmm. You cannot be both. Shit. She's right. 
Well, I mean, you can probably. I see Penelope can't give it up. Like, she's kind of addicted to it, dude. And I mean, the Ton would also miss Lady Whistledown. Like, the Ton would be bored without her. So, like... But he gave me you girls. Aww. And my greatest wish has always been for you three to do better than I did. Wait, sweet moment with Miss Featherington not on my British and bingo card. Dude, what is Penelope gonna do? Can she- if she doesn't make a decision by the end of this episode, I'm gonna be right pissed off. It was fun at first, but I kind of needed to progress somewhere. Because right now it's not progressing. She's just sitting around. I'm writing a manuscript in the back. Okay, Taylor Swift! <laughs> Since when does Colin write, though? Like, this is new to this season. Go forth in peace to love and serve the oh Lord. Oh my god, I would fling myself off of a cliff if I had to go to church with this guy. So fucking slow. Too slow of a talker for me. I know there was something you have been meaning to tell me. Is she gonna tell him in a church? I think he finds out in a church in the book. Tell him, tell him now, tell him now, tell him now, tell him now. In fact, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a very long time. She's gonna just say, I love you. She's gonna piss me off. But I have loved you since the moment we met. She's gonna piss me off. I'm pissed off at her. I will spend a lifetime begging your forgiveness for not seeing you soon. There's no need. How sweet, but also tell him that your lady was done. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> but also tell him <laughs> that you are lady was down, please. How sweet, but also Penelope. I need you <laughs> to fucking tell him, dog. Colin being a writer all of a sudden, like, I know that that's what he's like in his book, but it just feels so random in the show because he just has never rent mentioned writing ever. You have been perfunctory in your support. Perfunctory. I gotta look that word up. Perfunctory. Carried with a minimum amount of effort or reflection. What John and I have is easy and... I love him, Mama. That's so true. Even if it is not the love that you want for me. Yeah, like, not everything has to be super dramatic. Granted, he's gonna die. But still. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, this is gonna piss Penelope off. She wrote it on such a weird page. Come with me. <gasps> Are they making up? He has to find out right now. Right now, he has to find out. The episode is going to end. Oh my god, Colin for sure has to be following her. There's no way he's not following her. He has to be following her. Colin's like gotta be right behind her right now. <gasps> you. Oh, Lady Whistledown. Ow! Exactly the music. The music is good. Who printed tonight? It's not print tonight's edition. Oh, but every other one. Oh, gagged. Is it not you who has been Lady Whistledown all along? The way he has to bend so low to talk to her. I would never forgive you. Well, we know he does. <laughs> Perhaps because a few of them may be of dubious <gasps> parentage. No, that's bullshit because they all look identical. <laughs> you are the truest friend I have ever known, Mel. Aww. It's torture not being by your side this season. Well, that's not sweet. I cannot bear the thought of losing you completely. But you're gonna be sisters. You're gonna be sisters. It's okay. Oh, Eloise. Mm. Is my mess with Colin not yours? Forgive me. I wish you luck. Both parties completely valid. Penelope, valid to ask for help. Eloise, valid for being like, I can't help you. How long have you known? Oh, hell. I have been trying to make her tell you. You should have told me yourself. No, you Colin. Me you were in love with my best friend before you tripped into the drawing room engaged. Mm. And then I thought- Move this candle out of Eloise's face. I can't see her. I think you should consider yourself uncommonly lucky. You have never been in love. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> you need to call off the wedding. This is my least favorite Penelope dress. Please, let me explain. Tilly. What a lame note. Oh, hell, there's a fast jump cut. Are you tempted by every woman you meet? I'm not. Huh? Well, that's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Benedict is so cute. If you did not feel anything, then Mr. Suarez. Let us, you and I, continue on our own. 
She's being pretty fair about all this. I'm kind of sick of them, though. Can they wrap this up? Can they wrap her up? I'm sick of her ass. <laughs> Bring me Sophie! Oh, uh. Violet has a collar! <gasps> Look at her! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> Wait, that's so cute! I feel like, okay, this is no, if you're British, no offense. I feel like British cake is not as good as American cake, probably. Y'all, like, don't do sugar. Declare yourself. Throw rocks, throw rocks at Francesca's window tonight. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh my gosh. Welcome back, Romantic Benedict. Well, if I am to be bold, I shall need some time to think about it. Oh. <laughs> he is so funny. What secret dealings have I found you in the midst of? Oh, well, her Irish accent slipped a little there. <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. They are in the public street, though. <laughs> I thought they were, like, at Penelope's home when I saw that in the trailer. In public! In public! Colin, get a grip. <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, what am I? Chop liver? <laughs> I'm dead. Everybody loves Kate so much. Celebratory. Two glasses of celebratory, one. Celebratory. Celebratory. <laughs> My goodness, we're getting married in this episode. How exciting. <laughs> he just waved at her like that. Oh, Anthony Bridgerton, I love you. Go to the chapel and where gonna get married yes finally a bridgerton wedding what we fucking have never seen one so oh that is lady Barragan, whose luncheon do not forget we failed to attend and now she'll want us to attend her next one even more mm -hmm. mondriches i love you don't really care though sorry i love weddings oh, ours was perfect well, we never fucking saw it, so. What a slap in the face that line was, actually. Don't piss me off right now, Bridgerton. Don't piss me off. Don't, p that pissed me off bad, actually. Oh my God, it's yellow. Not the dress, I'm sorry, the song. <laughs> oh my God, Benedict looks so handsome. I know he was not the main focus of that shot. I'm so sorry. My eyes just go straight to him. So sorry. I know that that shot was supposed to focus on Eloise. I didn't even look at her for a second, though. <laughs> Those damn fingerless mesh gloves. I'm gonna jump off a cliff. Um. Yay! <laughs> oh, Eloise stood up so fast. That's uh for sure a cake. Damn, that's a big cake. <laughs> They're just like me. <laughs> I saw you crying at the ceremony. Simply tears at losing another friend to marriage. <laughs> POV, living in your 20s. <laughs> Our child will always be a Bridgerton. But I should like them to know they are a Sharma as well. Well, that's fucking sweet, isn't it? <laughs> we can share that history with our child together. Mother will understand that. A little unsafe to travel while pregnant, but okay. <sighs> Please do not make me love you more. I do not think I can bear it. I love them. Stop writing them out of the show, though. <laughs> Even when things are well between the couple. Thank you for allowing me to work it out for myself. Well, this wedding couldn't plan itself. I've not had time to meddle. Oh, wait. Not Portia having a redemption. Whatever it is. The important part is that you're married now. <laughs> Same old Portia, though. <laughs> Perhaps. To the center. <gasps> Let's dance! Let's dance! And perhaps we could dance. Let's dance! <laughs> the, the sun is still out. I realize that. Oh, what, you can't dance in the sunlight? <laughs> Laughing on a park bench, thinking to myself. Am I tripping or what? Shirts. I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain, and I'm on the beat. 
strangers If you can see that I'm the one who understands you Been here all along, so why can't Oh, they're alone! With me! Damn, they got two Taylor Swift songs, that's crazy I did not think you would dance though. This is his bold gesture! Perhaps not this is his bold but perhaps gesture. We should both be more bold in declaring ourselves. You belong with me. Oh my god, Colin! Majesty Public! Everyone who is not a Bridgerton may go. <laughs> Wait, how did she clock their tea? Someone in this room has something to hide. Lady Danbury staying there. <laughs> I assure you, if such a thing were happening in my home, I would know of it. Uh -huh. And I would have put a stop to it a long time ago. This is so fun. It's like a whodunit. Welcome back, Knives Out. I am whistled out. Yes, Penelope. I will not change that. I cannot accept that. God damn it, we're fighting again, aren't we? Mr. Bridgerton. <laughs> Benedict. I just said a few days ago that we have not seen anybody call him by his first name, and I wanted that save for Sophie. I'm not. Good for Benedict. I do kind of need him to break up with the widow, though, soon. <laughs> just for the sake of Sophie existing. Where the fuck is Cressida? Evening, Mom. That could have been Theo for all I care. Finally, Bridgerton Season 3, Part 2, Episode 8. We are done after this episode. We've got about an hour and ten minutes. And then we're finally done with Season 3. And when I say finally, it's not that the season was bad. It was interesting at certain points. I really think I enjoyed last episode the most, honestly. Things we're looking for in this episode. Mention of a maid. Mention of an Earl of Penwood. Mention of a masquerade. Mention of a woman named Sophie Beckett. Once again, we are wearing the Benefi shirt to manifest. The way that the next episode of Bridgerton I watch could possibly be Ben Dick season. I'm like shaking. I'm shaking. You have a visitor in the drawing room. Um, serve her tea. I'm not yet ready. Oh my god, is it her mom? It's gotta be her mom, right? Watch it be like the queen or some shit. Good morning, Mama. <gasps> Cressida. Gasped. We should like to take residence at John's primary estate. In Scotland? Oh, hell. It's close to the border. Uh, no, the Highlands. But it's not too far from Glasgow. See, I don't know the UK geography, so this is all in one ear out the other. <laughs> Oh. What are you doing here? Penelope Featherton, you are an outfit repeater. Certainly we should not be having this discussion in front of Miss Bridgerton. She knows everything as well. Wonderful. <laughs> I can pay her. <laughs> you have made that higher sum. Slightly more, if we're being honest. Oh my god, she's a millionaire. All this time. <laughs> Porsche's pissed. <laughs> Damn, they've been fucking this whole time? What is the timeline here? Days have passed. This is the next day. Did we just go back in time? Because they're taking off their clothes from that scene. I'm going to need the timeline laid out for me. I'm sorry. Her readers are willing to pay to read about themselves week after week. You do not sound as if you hate Whistledown. You sound as if you are jealous of her. She clocked his tea. There is Whistledown. And then there is Penelope, who has experienced the kind of loneliness surely neither of us can fathom. Cressida's literally an only child. <laughs> a family's love is enduring. That is the difference between you and me. Yeah, Cressida doesn't have that kind of family love. You take for granted that you will always have your family's support. Mm-hmm. They've been fucking nonstop for like over 24 hours. I know this is all the same cut because they're like in the same outfits. It's just cut very weird into the show. Welcome back, challengers. <laughs> we do not have to discuss that. But perhaps we should. Mm, yeah, y'all need to talk. <laughs> Lord Anderson has been an exemplary gentleman. Did they ever even talk about Violet's dad? Give your blessing. Oh, it is certainly not my place to give or withhold a blessing on the matter. Or do they just kind of let it go? After all, it is not as though I asked your permission. T. Oh my god, are they going to talk about it? You know. 
Yeah, they kind of just like moved on. I know my father was a good man. So crazy. And my brother is a good man. Oh and you are a good friend. They are besties. That is all I need to know as well. I love them. I will pick you over him. I shall not lose you for his folly. There is nary a man alive with such power. <laughs> Friendship! <laughs> oh, the hat! Guys. Oh my god. Shonda writing a successful female relationship? Question mark? <laughs> Benedict's been missing for like 72 hours. <laughs> His family has no idea where he is. We're in episode 8. I'm going to need Tilly to wrap it up. <laughs> like ASAP. For any hope of Benefi. Genuinely. Nice. Oh, I'm sensing. Mmm, spidey senses are tingling. I'm sensing a sex scene. <laughs> I'm sensing consummating the marriage. Oh, yep. Spidey senses are always correct. I only need a blanket for the city. Or you could sleep in the bed. <laughs> she like pulls off her other shoulder. Damn, wait, maybe my spidey senses were off. <laughs> the vibes were there though. I was sensing something correctly. The vibes were for sure there. Okay, <laughs> he looks so stupid. I'm going to have tea with my mother before your sister's wedding. Whoa! They're getting married already? No way. That was so fast. <gasps> he kept every letter? He kept all the letters. That's really romantic. That is very sweet. I know your funds came from Jack Featherington's fraudulent activities. Penelope has to show herself to the queen and the Featheringtons having money comes from Penelope. She will fight whatever I like her to. That is a great power. And with great power comes great responsibility. Perhaps we are more alike than I care to admit. Every daughter ever with their mom. <laughs> Okay, go to the chapel and we're gonna get married. I want to see Benedict and Sophie get married. I imagine it's something along the lines of this. Damn, they said no weddings last season to this season. Yay! That's sweet. I don't know what that look was. He looks like a fine fellow. He was very lucky that Anthony has already left home. <laughs> mm. They left without saying goodbye? You're fucking lying. Save a dance for me at the next ball. <gasps> uh, the uh, <laughs> Doug was Finch ball. Yes. Yes! Yes, that would be nice. Yes, Violet. Oh, God, that was so exhausting. <laughs> I shall offer a few humble words to your family, especially your mother. Lady Bridgerton, see your openness reflected in Benedict, your <gasps> charm in Colin, your wisdom in Eloise, and a brightness you have instilled in both Gregory and Hyacinth. In this moment, when I feel so much gratitude for my new wife, I feel it in equal measure for the remarkable woman who raised her. Wait, I'm about to fucking cry. I thank you. All of you, from the bottom of my heart. That's so sweet. That's like one of the nicest things anyone's ever said on this show. <laughs> well, isn't that this just the sweetest thing? <laughs> isn't this just so sweet? <laughs> that is so romantic, so sweet. <laughs> I want to cry. I gotta text my mom and tell her I love her. <laughs> May I speak with you? <laughs> Are they about to finally make up? Because Jesus Christ, I'm sick of this. I am beginning to care for you, Benedict. This diva. It's more than friends. This diva. <laughs> I have never met someone so similar to me. And I'm beginning to wonder what if we did allow things to grow more serious between us. I'm not certain that serious is what I want. God damn it, Benedict. It's okay, he hasn't met her yet. It's okay. What an interesting conversation we just had. <laughs> Lots to unpack there, I think. Oh my god. Fancy finding you. Oh, thank god. I was worried. <laughs> the more I learn, the more I realize how little I know. It feels right now that the next thing I might learn may change me entirely. <gasps> you guys, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> if that wasn't a sign that he's next, I don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I think I literally just had like a heart palpitation. You have pain? All of that. Uh, my ma told me she wished for you to have the greatest ball Mayfair has ever seen. Aw, oh, they healed the Featherington family. How sweet. What's up with the red lipstick? Are we going to address it? Question mark. Because have we seen it on anybody else? No. Interesting dancing. Dance with me. Oh my god. Is that what it is? I show the lights. Right? Do y'all even know what I'm singing? Probably not. Huh. <gasps> oh my god. Or sh should I say, dearest gentle readers? Uh, that's funny. <gasps> now, Barney, the bugs! Oh, this. <laughs> She's so serious. How fun! How whimsical! You can now tell that solicitor your money came from my writing. <laughs> You'll have no recourse. See, what did I say? I knew. I knew. You are her. Aww. I've always had one voice. There is no separating you from Whistledown. No, well, isn't that sweet? And after seeing you speak today, I well, I would not want to. That's sweet. Aww. Will you please do me the honor of joining me on the dance floor, Mrs. Bridgerton? Oh, that's so cute. Whatever. Because I've come up with a rather brilliant idea. Or a request, rather. And what request is that? <gasps> She's gonna go with them. <gasps> Let me accompany you to Scotland. And thankfully, my cousin has finally arrived to complete our travel party. It gives me great pleasure to introduce <gasps> Michaela Sterling. And you must be? <gasps> she forgot her name. Um, well, I'm Francesca. Gagda. Peace out, Cressida. We'll miss you. I will miss you. I can't believe Eloise is leaving. Do you think Mama would ever let me miss her masquerade ball? Mm, I suppose not. I will be there, hiding out behind a mask. Avoiding eligible ladies like the Shh. Shut up. In your hiding place then. <laughs> Shut up. It is time now to look toward the future, whatever it may bring. Shut up. Benefit Nation, we are so up right now. We have never been. We have never been so up. This is crazy. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. My heart's beating really fast. Bye Eloise. Oh my God. Bye Francesca. Lady Whistledown. Goodbye. Stop. Julie Andrews. <gasps> it's a little babies. I think little Philomena will one day become a great writer without any need of a what husband. What a horrid name. I cannot have written my book without the help of Philomena's auntie Penelope. Philomena. Crazy ass name. Oh, he has a book. Look at the and baby. Anthony and Kate have also had their baby by now, mind you. Yours truly, Penelope Bridgerton. Aww. I can't believe we don't get Julie Andrews anymore, though. What? I hope you enjoyed these highlights to my reaction to Bridgerton season three, part two. Like I said earlier, make sure you check out my Patreon where you can find my full reaction videos to the entirety of Bridgerton season three, as well as commentary tracks for Bridgerton season one and season two. Not to mention, we will be watching a whole bunch of other shows over there on my Patreon. So make sure you go and check it out. But other than that, that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.